Good evening, race fans, and welcome to the opener here for the Crown Athletics Racing Tour, or the C-A-R-T for short, Kart League, here on iRacing. Tonight, they take on Daytona, where the points adder this Wednesday night um, versus last week, where it was just, uh, you know, the clash, just bragging rights. Tonight, everything is on the line for these guys to uh, start off the season strong. As always, up here in the booth with you guys here for Extreme Racing TV, Dennis Hansman. Thank you guys for tuning in this evening. Looks like you got four viewers out there right now. Uh, and we're still 
just under two minutes here left to go in practice as right now we got Zach Lindgren in the top spot uh, with a 45 uh, 452 Jared Rashawn in second with a 45 455 Lima Carlson in third with a 45 498 and Walker Thomas in fourth with a 45 512 and Aiden Kirker rounding out the top five with a 45 Five, two, four. Go ahead real quick and get the weather report for you guys here real quick. At Daytona Beach, USA, uh, we got 80 degrees, partly cloudy skies, track temp of 109 degrees. Humidity at 25%. Winds out of that, uh, coming from the south, southeast at 8 miles an hour. Uh, no fog, uh, no precipitation in the area, and uh, that will give us dry track conditions here this evening. So as they are coming down to the last 30 seconds here left to go in practice, we are going to go ahead, we're going to step away here, play the national anthem, and get down to the qualifying. So don't go anywhere, folks. We will be right back. folks welcome back as qualifying and just is getting underway here for these guys okay, right now we got Jared Rashawn out here on track uh, Lima Carlson on track Walker Thomas on track as well as Zach Lindgren Aiden Kirker uh, James Lindgren uh, Bradley Williams, Nathan Yarnell, Justin Summer, and Brad D. Peters all out here on track getting the warm-up laps in as uh, Jared Rashawn's now on his first lap here, getting ready to uh, complete his first lap. Uh, Terry Mustard Jr., giving a big shout-out to my teammates of BCM, Scotty Grove, Justin Summer, and Nathan Smith. Let's go. Uh, the only driver out, not out here on track right now, uh, part of that team uh, is Nathan Smith. He's still on pit road. Uh, still got a little over two and a half minutes here left to go in qualifying, so there's still plenty of time for him to get out on track and get a qualifying lap down as Lima Carlson is up into the top spot with a 49-138. Uh, as he's on his second lap right now, James... <clears throat> on his first lap here as well as uh, Justin Summer 
looks like he's getting ready to complete his first lap as Walker Thomas goes to that top spot with a 49.086. As they say that, Jared Rashawn tops him with a 49.081. As we're coming down to the last two minutes here of qualifying. Looks like we've got eight people out there watching right now. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to Extreme Racing TV for the season debut of the Crown Athletics Racing Tour here on iRacing. Tonight they kick off at Daytona International Speedway. Looks like Nathan Smith is now out here on track. Uh, Scotty Grove is out here on track, actually. Uh, there, get on Nathan Smith here. And Zach Lindgren has taken the top. Brad Peters, actually, I'm sorry, has taken the top spot with a 49047. Get ready to come down to the last minute of qualifying here. Scotty's looking to uh, improve that first lap with a 49,486. Uh, he's looking to get up into that top five here, if not the pole. James laid down his uh, second lap time, puts him in seventh spot with a 49,118. See here where Scotty ends up coming out of turn number four here down the front straightaway. I don't think Nathan Smith is going to have enough time to complete his first lap. We'll see here. He's coming out of turn number four right in. And now down the front straightaway. And it won't be enough for the pole, but it'll put him into 12th spot. As we're coming down to the last 10 seconds here of qualifying. So looks like the pole winner is going to be that 05 machine of Brad D. Peters. As qualifying is now wrapped up. So we're going to go ahead and get them down to the starting grid here this evening. Starting on the pole, the 05 machine of Brad D. Peters with a 49.047. Uh, congratulations, Brad, on the pole here this evening. And starting in second spot, uh, the 85 machine of Zach Lindgren. Back in row number two, we have Jared Rashawn in the 60 machine starting in uh, third. Starting in fourth beside him, the 12 machine of Walker Thomas. Starting in row three, we have the 15 machine of Nathan Yarnell. Starting fifth and starting back in sixth spot, the 94 machine of uh, Justin Summer. In row number four, we got the uh, 55 machine of Scotty Grove. Uh, he is going to be starting seventh uh, and then starting eighth here, the 87 of James Lingriven. Uh, I think, I'm, hopefully, I'm saying that name right. If not, I apologize. Uh, starting row five, starting ninth here this evening. The 01 of Lima Carlson. Uh, starting 10th, the 116 of Bradley w Williams. Uh, and row six, the 39 machine of Aiden Kirker is going to be rolling off 11th. And starting 12th, the 45 machine of Brian L. Jones. And row seven, the last qualifier here of this evening. Starting 13th, the six machine of Nathan Smith. Uh, first of the non-qualifiers, the 9 machine of Tyler Hessel. Starting 15th, the 88 machine of Jeremy B. Brown. Uh, starting 18th, uh, 16th, sorry, the 52 machine of Lance Anthony. Back in row 9, starting 17th, the 77 machine of William Rucker. Starting 18th in that 32 machine, Josh Duke. And rounding out the field here, starting 19th, we got the 24 machine of Andy Frazier. Not a huge field, but definitely 19 drivers out here on track. Still going to be action-packed for these guys. Definitely going to be uh, interesting to see how they're going to mean to uh, start this race off. If they're just going to... 
take it easy or if they're going to go uh, guns ablaze in here, um, as they would say. Looks like we got 10 out there watching right now. Thank you guys for tuning in here for the season debut of the Crown Athletics Racing Tour. And we got uh, CJ Harden out there in chat. Let's go, number 116. That would be Bradley Williams there, uh, rolling off 10th. Go ahead and wait for that pace car to uh, make its crawl around turn number three and four here. And then wait for it to dive off to the safety of pit road. And we will go ahead and get this race underway. And waiting for the pace car to last minute dive off to that safety of pit road. And now waiting on Barney the Flagman to get us underway here. And we are underway here for the season debut of the Crown Athletics Racing Tour here at Daytona International Speedway. Guys getting ready to complete lap one. Looks like they're just keeping it side by side, two by two there, going to the start finish line. Zach Lingren is gonna be able to lead that first lap there this evening. Only got uh, 69 more to go here. To uh, go out here and claim victory. Uh, like I always say when it comes to super speedway racing, it doesn't matter how many laps you lead. Uh, as long as you lead that last lap, that's the most important lap that you wanna have. As the 94 machine, Justin Summers is going to dive it down to the inside of the 85. Zach Linger and going to go ahead and take the top spot. Uh, but Zach's got some help coming on the outside. Uh, looks like that would be... I don't know who that would be behind Zach Linger. Uh, let me get on Zach here and see if we can find out who that is. Behind him. As Zach, you know, he led the first lap and uh, second lap he's back here in ninth spot and still falling back. Uh, that looks like it's the 70, no, 77 of William Rucker. No, that can't be right. But we got a few different cam camera angles for you guys to uh, take a look at. We got the uh, rear cam here uh, facing out to uh, what the uh, driver is seeing in his rear view mirror somewhat. Uh, and then what the driver is seeing in front of him, uh, except instead of being in the cockpit, we're on the roof of the, uh, of the machine. Uh, right now, you see Zach Lingering giving a very good push there to the 87 machine. That would be uh, James Lingribbon. Just a few different angles there for everybody to uh, enjoy as they're coming out of turn number four. And, whew, they're just diving it all over the place. Uh, I think that was the get back here. Uh, that was the 52 of Lance Anthony. Uh, I took it all the way from the top down to the bottom. Uh, just get back down to that low side. Justin Summers is still up here in the lead. He's led three laps here. He's up five spots from where he started the race. Um, still a long way to go, though. Anything can happen between uh, lap five and lap 70. 
Thank you all for tuning in here this evening so far. We've been green and clean, but it's still early on here. And we got the 55 machine of Scott Gr Scotty Grove uh, right behind that 94 machine of Justin Summer. Right now, he's not looking to push the issue too bad. Uh, just wanting to be able to uh, be in the right spot at the right time if anything would to happen. He's in a somewhat good position there. As the 05 machine of Brad Peters is leading the outside line here in that NOS Energy 05 machine. And he's going to go up to the point down the back straightaway in the three. But looks like the 94 is going to get the momentum through the turn. We'll see how it falls out as they come out of turn number four here. You got the 60 machine of Jared Rashawn giving a push to Brad Peters there. And it looks like Brad is going to lead his first lap here put him up into the top spot finally led his first lap here uh, was not able to do it there at the start of the race but he has been able to grab the point now Uh, no problem, uh, Terry. Uh, it's my pleasure to be able to put on the uh, broadcasting for these uh, drivers out here. Uh, especially for the first season for these guys debuting the Cup Series. Um, I know they do uh, Indy Series on Thursday nights. So uh, to be able to, you know, do their season debut of the Cup Series with these next-gen cars. Uh, you know. I'm very humbled by that and looking forward to doing it for uh, as long as they allow me to uh, stick around here. Uh, but right now, uh, we got this night here. And one of my favorite tracks um, is Daytona. So, be able to broadcast a uh, Daytona race. Um, even though I'd rather be out there <laughs> driving. Um, it is a honor to be up here in the booth and uh, give you guys some insights um, You know as far as you know what I would see from the uh, driver aspect of things uh, But right now there's really not a whole lot to go by they're just you know really taking it easy right now uh, Still got a long way to go here. I mean we still what 61 laps to go So Once we get down to I'd say about 15 laps to go uh that's when things are going to ramp up here for these guys, I would expect. Um, I wouldn't expect anything crazy like three wide or uh, anything like that. But I have seen three wide here at Daytona before. So I would not question. I would not leave that out of the question. Here. Um, as it looks like, who is that on the outside in the purple machine? The 01, Lima Carlson. Looks like he's trying to peek. On the outside there through the turns. I don't know. I think he's uh, trying just to get air to the radiator. I hope uh, that's what he's doing. Uh, as you can see, he's really popping it up there to the outside. Um, but yeah, it looks like that's what he's doing. Just trying to get some air to that radiator and keep those temperatures nice and cool. Which is not a bad idea. Uh because you could very easily blow your engine. For those that don't know, uh, when you're tucked up behind somebody, temperatures like to climb very high. And once you hit about 295, you have about 0.02 seconds to uh, get some really clean air real quick. Or your night will be over. And you'll be sitting back there in the garage watching these other drivers go around in circles like I am right now. Oh, somebody got loose there coming out of turn number two. Who was that? Let's go ahead and take a little back. Take a look back. Uh, that would be the 60 machine of Jared or Sean. My play button would work. So let's find Jared here in the 60 machine. And let's go ahead and let's do a far chase on. And it 
Yep, just a bump draft coming out of turn number two. And unfortunately got him loose and came down on the 94. That would be Justin Summer. And was able to avoid the wall. And everybody else was able to avoid everything, keep it clean and green. Awesome driving by all these guys out here on the track. Get back up here to the front. So now we got looks like the top ten. Uh, James is the last driver here in the lead pack. Then we all go all the way back to eleventh. Uh, and this is the second pack here uh, from 11th all the way down to 15th. Uh, they're about eight seconds behind the leader. So really, they're eight seconds behind the lead pack because uh, lead pack's only about a half second in front uh, behind from 10th to uh, first. And then we go back here to Bradley Williams. He's on the tail end of this uh, second pack. And then Tyler here in 17th, all by his lonesome. Uh, it's looked like we got the 39 of Aiden Kirker on pit road in 18th. Two laps down and Jeremy Brown also on pit road. Three laps down. Still too wide here. Looks like the outside, the first driver on the outside. That would be. Well, Zach is uh, giving a heck of a push uh, to the 32 of Josh Duke there. Uh, now he's driving the John Deere orange machine. Uh, last night I did a broadcast. It was the John Deere green machine. Now we got the John Deere orange machine. I'd rather have the green. My, I'm just saying. John Deere, I associate with green. But still nice to see him out there running a John Deere paint. We got Walker Thomas. He's led four laps. And looking to lead his fifth lap here as he crosses the line. So we'll go down to top five here real quick. Uh, you got Walker Thomas in first. Brad D. Peters second. Scotty Grove sitting back here in third. Nathan Yarnell in fourth. And rounding out the top five, Nathan Smith. Uh, but given about two laps, the top five will probably uh, more than likely switch hands here. Which, when it comes to Daytona, is not on on un uncommon. Blip, 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 spit it out. And I'm doing a remix here. As uh, you're seeing right now, you got the sixty machine there. Jared Rashawn leading the outside line now. Keep trying to find different angles for you guys to go ahead and enjoy the views, the sights and sounds of the cars. As now looks like the outside line is tapering off just a little bit. But as I say that, Zach Lingren all over the bumper there. The 60 machine of Jared Rashawn. Uh, you got Brad Peters here in second now. Well, still in second, I should say. Sorry. Uh, looks like he's just taking it easy right now. Pretty content with staying behind that 12 machine of Walker Thomas. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, looks like we got eight people watching right now. Uh, if you're new to turn tuning in to Extreme Racing TV, uh, make sure you go ahead and you know hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, hit the like button, and uh, go ahead and hit that notification bell. 
That way you go ahead and get informed anytime Extreme Racing TV goes live uh, for not only this race, uh, for this night, Wednesday night, here for the uh, Crown Athletics Racing Tour, but also uh, any other night that we go live, which uh, currently is uh, Tuesday nights. So Tuesday and Wednesday nights, Extreme Racing TV is live broadcasting iRacing. So two different leagues out here. And right now, a lot of single file racing here in the uh, front pack. Not a whole lot of action going on. As you will be able to see here, coming out of turn number four, all 10 cars here are single file. And then you go ahead back here to. 11th here uh, you just saw the 45 or Brent Brian Jones uh, Almost upset the uh, 77 there of William Rucker uh, You really got to watch doing the bump draft in there through the corners uh, You can do it. Um, it's very hard to do but it is possible to do uh, These guys are sitting about almost 13 seconds behind the, uh, the leader there Walker Thomas These guys go all the way back to Justin Summer. Well, actually, Bradley Williams in that 116 here, sitting in 16th. So, uh, sorry, CJ, right now. Uh, Bradley is uh, hoping for a caution here in the latter part of the race. To uh, get everything regrouped here because right now he is sitting almost 14 seconds behind uh, the leader here. As we can go ahead. Okay, so we get back up here to the front. We got uh, side by side here going for the lead once more I uh, go ahead and get back to the you know back to the pack there for a little bit and then come back up here And we got battles going on as now Josh Duke and that 32 John Deere machine has taken the lead uh, Not officially yet We gotta go all the way around the track here to uh, go ahead and officially claim his lap led here at Daytona as we have 22 of 70, as we're on 22 of 70, I should say. We've completed 21. Uh, and uh, at uh, 60 machine, and Jared Rashawn was able to give Josh Duke a very good push there down the back straightaway. They both got clear, dropped down to the inside of Walker Thomas. And officially, Josh Duke is going to lead his first lap here. Go ahead and put Josh up 17 spots from where he started the race. As we still got three cars there on the outside. Uh, you got the 87 machine. And that would be James Langrevin. Langrevin. I know I've said it. I might have said it right once or twice. And then I've said it wrong about three or four times probably. But either way, uh, he's sitting back here in fifth spot. We got Zach Lindgren right behind him in the 85 sitting seventh. Then you got the 01 machine of Lima Carlson sitting in ninth. Those are the only three cars there on the outside line. Uh, and I'm sort of kind of seeing what I saw last night to where that outside line really doesn't need a whole lot of help. Just needs the right drivers to give the right amount of pushes to uh, maintain their uh, momentum and be able to, as they're coming up on a lap car there, that would be. Who would that be? Tyler. As he is going to go ahead and go a lap down here and hopefully catch the tail end of this draft. As long as he can be on the tail end of this draft here, the lead pack, he will be the first driver a lap down. And then he'll go ahead and get that free pass if and when a caution comes out.
go ahead and get on that 05 machine of Brad Peters here and let's see how it's looking on the gyro cam. As you can uh, see there, uh, the banking here at Daytona is insane. But yeah, the banking here at Daytona is insane. Uh, it's a three-story building from the wall all the way down to the apron of the track. And considering the width of that, as you see a big check up there on the bottom side, a good awareness by everybody there, especially Brad here, the driver we're on right now, be able to check up, not hitting the guy behind them. We'll go ahead and do that. This does a wonder. <laughs> Some reason the camera control stopped on the one, so I had to go ahead and use the other. Is Lima got loose there coming out of two? I first time I've seen that. Now we got Zach Lingren up into the top spot. Still the top 10 here. One minute they're battling side by side. And then they go ahead and get it all single file. And then they build the momentum up and we get another charge. But now we got Zach. He's led his second lap here. We'll go ahead and give a little recap here real quick. We haven't had any cautions yet so far. Uh, but we've had uh, six lead changes and we're down to 43 laps to go here. And it's only... Uh, just after nine o'clock on the East Coast here, that'd be eight Central and uh, six Pacific time. You know anybody on the West Coast? Like we got still eight people out there watching. We got two likes. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in, enjoying the uh, the race here this evening. Single file here for the top 10. Get back here to uh, William Rucker, Justin Summer, Lance Anthony, Bradley Williams. No. Yeah, Bradley Williams is on the tail end of this one. And then we got Andy Frazier sitting here on Pit Road. Uh, I think. I don't think this is a scheduled pit stop, but he's getting tires and fuel. And he is off and underway. Right now, that's the only driver to make a pit stop here. But right now, it's all single file. We got Andy. These guys are going to come up on Andy here pretty quick. So it's definitely something we're going to have to keep our eyes on here. Uh, but with them being single file, I don't think it's going to be any problem for you guys to go ahead and get around the lap car there of the 24. Oh, pit stop should be coming up here shortly, though, for these guys. Um, I would expect uh, if they're running 100% fuel, 
probably here within the next five to ten laps. Go ahead and get back. See here what's going on with uh, Justin Sumner. I know I said summer, but it's Sumner. It looks, it looks like summer when I look at my uh, timing screen over here because the M and the N kind of blend in. And then we got Lance Anthony here in 13th, uh, right behind that McDonald's 94 machine. And I got to say, props to Justin there. Bringing back some memories there driving that 94 McDonald's machine. And here we go. <laughs> More action. Uh, now we got Walker Thomas back up to the point. And they go ahead and... I think they're doing this on purpose. I think they keep cycling to uh, save fuel. But Tyler was also that lap car. And he's uh, in the monks of this. But they're coming up. They should be coming up here on Andy here very soon. So Tyler has found his way up into the unofficial fourth spot. Uh, but in a very good, good position to where when they do get up to uh, Andy. Well, Andy's going to be two laps down, so it doesn't matter anyway. So it'll actually be Bradley Williams here. But he's, you know, even though they're still losing time to the lead pack uh, they're still only about 13 seconds behind the leader so it's still going to be a while before these uh, leaders go ahead and catch the tail end of the field uh, for those that you know missed it there early, early on in the race um, we were having some uh, good side by side racing and uh just a mishap coming out of turn number two. Bump draft a little too early. Uh, sent. A driver down into the inside. And uh, broke up the pack. But everybody was able to uh, keep it off the wall. So keep it off of each other for the most part. And keep it green. And here we are sitting at lap 35 of 70 still haven't had a caution and we got three packs out here on track I got Jared Rashawn here in eighth uh, the last driver in the first pack is the uh, six machine of Nathan Smith and you can go ahead and jump it back here to uh, William Rucker in 11th all the way down to uh, Bradley Williams here in that 116 sitting 14th and then your two lap cars is the nine of Tyler Vassell and the 24 of Andy Frazier as uh, what was Andy doing there he uh, I don't think I've uh, He's coming down pit road now. And that will be his second pit stop here in the evening. I think Andy is having some mechanical problems with his wheel. It's the only thing I could think of um, why the car would do that uh, when he's at that just I mean I've seen it happen before um, I've seen drivers where their pedal all of a sudden just quit work quit yep quit working uh, and they just dive it down to the inside and you know coast it down the pit road to go ahead and you know fix their pedals it's unfortunate to have that kind of you know situation happen to you but uh, we, we consider that here on iRacing a mechanical malfunction, um, kind of like what you would have in 
real life to where you know you're out there on track and let's say for an example you have like a bearing uh, not a bearing but you know a shock you gotta do a shock change i don't think they do that in nascar anymore but a wheel fall off or you know get in a wreck and you're on that damage clock uh where you gotta change out a battery battery problems happen in these cars in real life so you know kind of related to that so looks like andy's still here on pit road uh sitting here don't know if he's gonna be able to get back out here on the track or not he's leaders here uh the top 11 or top 10 i should say are all single file as we go ahead and get back here to the last driver on well, in the top 10 here with the lead pack the nine of Tyler up there for a second he was uh, thinking about making a charge but it looked like he just was allowing the 15 to go ahead and get in front of him at least that's what it looked like go ahead and pan it out just a little bit more for you guys get a better view of what's going on out there on the track lot of single file not a whole lot of you know side-by-side -side racing going on right now but you know we're on lap 41 here and they still have not made a pit stop uh they should be having to come down here pretty quickly i would imagine as here comes lance anthony he's out got bradley williams uh, he's out of pit road you got andy back out uh, Justin Sumner and William Rucker. So the second pack made their pit stops. Uh, so we should be seeing the leaders coming down pit road now. And yes, here they all come from Walker, Brad, Nathan, James, Zach, Lima, Josh, Jared, Scotty, and Nathan all down pit road for their pit stops here this evening and it should be only I would only do fuel and go I would not take tires uh, it looks like some are opting to take tires uh, looks like Nathan did not opt to take tires which is a good choice in just my opinion uh, looks like Brad took tires so we got Nathan coming off first Walker Thomas second uh, James third, Nathan Yarnell fourth, and Scotty Grove coming out fifth. So I don't think yeah, William Rucker and Justin are not going to be able to catch. I mean, they might be able to catch him, but they're not going to be able to do much with it um, as Nathan <laughs> He's out here all by his lonesome. Uh, he's got a little, I mean, not big gap, but he's got about three, three tenths of a second. Well, two now over Walker. Uh, now we got a four packer going on here with Walker, James, and Nathan here catching the six machine of Nathan. And we go ahead and back it up here. Uh, about two and a half seconds to the 55 of Scotty Grove. He's out here all by himself. And then you got Brad Peters. Uh, getting caught by the 85 of Zach Lindgren. Looks like Zach is just going to go ahead and stay behind the 05. And uh, Lima Carlson is just going to stay behind Zach as well as Josh Duke and Jared Rashawn. The last driver here with this group. 
Then you got William Rucker back here, uh, about 10 seconds behind the leader here with uh, Justin. Then you got Lance all the way back here in 13th. He's uh, about 19 seconds behind the leader. And Bradley Williams here in 14th. Uh, he's almost 21 seconds behind the leader. So he's looking to get a caution here rather quickly. For uh, CJ there out there cheering on uh, the 116. Unfortunately, so far not going his way, but anything can happen. Uh, super, spe super speedway racing. You're never out of it until the checkered flag waves. Uh, that's been my thought process. And I'm sure uh, the 116 there, Bradley, is thinking the same thing. So it looks like uh, the top four here are maintaining pretty good gap there. Got about five and a half seconds. Oh, yeah. Five and a half second lead over uh, fifth spot. But the uh, 01 just laid down the fastest lap with a 44 959. Still, I mean, we, we're coming down to about 25 laps to go here. I'll uh, be 25 this time by. And so far, eight lead changes. No cautions. And I expect uh, we might have about 10 or 11 lead changes here by the end of the race. We'll see. Uh, should should do the uh, DraftKings over or under on the uh, 10 lead changes. Just kidding. Uh, we're, we're not going to do no gambling here. <laughs> not tonight uh, but you know my theory is when I always uh, estimate what the lead changes are going to be I'm always over so Looks like the second group is starting to close a little bit there on to the top four. Uh, they're now down to about three and a half seconds here. So if they maintain this single file and staying as tight as they are, uh, they should be able to run down the top four here within a matter of, uh, I would say, 10 laps. Go ahead. And we get on Nathan here. And you can see the gap is at about right around three seconds there between fourth and fifth spot. Uh, but, you know, the top four here, they're a little bit more spaced out than that second group is. So now you see they cut it down to just under three seconds here. So yeah, in about, I'd say about five to 10 laps, they should be uh, with the top four here. Um, as now Nathan is taking it up high and he's gonna fall back, give the lead to Walker Thomas now. As now that lead has, you know, that gap between fourth and fifth has really shrunk down. You can see him back there. They're coming. They're hungry. So they're going to be uh, not even probably next lap. Uh, just just by that happening with Nathan going up high and then having three cars on the bottom. They were really able to trim in the time there. You 
you see there they're about a second once they hit about that second mark they're really going to get a hold of that draft and really reel them in here as walker is taking it down to uh under the yellow line somebody might tell him that's not a good place to go but here they are and they're going to the outside they got the runs and they are going for it and that's brad peters there leading the way come on there we go finally loaded up so brad peters is back up to the point here uh with the help of zach lindgren lima carlson josh duke as well as uh jared or sean they're all up there on the outside all able to get around and they're all running that high side now uh, all single file running the top side and uh, i was waiting to see if or when that was going to take place because uh, that has been the preferred last time i was racing here anyway that was the preferred way around this track believe it or not was the high side uh, just because of the fact you were able to maintain so much momentum through the turn and carry it down through the straightaway so it looks like now we got 10 10 people out there watching thank you guys for tuning in here for the season opener for the crown athletics racing tour their season debut season one here at daytona international speedway over here on iRacing. Uh, thank you all for tuning in so far it's been a great race uh, no cautions and we're coming down to the final countdown um, as they like to say so still down to about seven, eight laps here before uh, the pressure is really on for these guys here in the lead pack. So we'll see here. Oh, who was that hitting the wall? Lima Carlson's up in the wall, still up in the wall. Uh, Josh Duke was also in the wall too. I saw Josh Duke hit it first. And then uh, Lima Carlson really got into the wall and he stuck onto it there for a while. Puts him all the way back to ninth spot. And oh, he might be too far back now to where he's going to lose the draft. We'll see here. As Walker Thomas and Brad Peters are battling for the lead. Got three cars on the outside and you got four on the inside uh, about to have five maybe six cars here depending on where the two behind them go uh, that's uh, Nathan Smith and Jared Rashawn uh, Jared Rashawn's there on the bottom oh so, yeah Nathan Smith and uh, oh that's the lap car Tyler no, it's not. That's the 24 Andy Frazier. Here's we uh, got three wide there as the leaders are going going around the lap trap. They're putting uh, looks like it's Bradley Williams and Lance Anthony a lap down. So here we are. Battle. Ooh, Brad, watch. I don't know if he got a little bump there to send him up to the right or not. But he almost got up into the door panel of Walker Thomas there, going down the front straightaway into the tri oval. figure out why every now and then my screen does a sudden glitch freeze
not too bad. Just every now and then it'll do a little glitch freeze. I don't know if that's coming over on the broadcast or not, but I'm catching it with my eyes anyway. Uh, we're still battling here for the lead uh, it's really shaping up to be a battle here uh, we got side by side from uh, first all the way back here to uh, ninth or eighth I am should say with uh, Nathan Smith rounding out the top eight we get back here to William Rucker here about 10 seconds behind all the action going on in front of him with uh, Scotty Grove and Justin Summer here. Nima Carlson uh, back here in 12. He's lost not only the uh, lead draft, he's also lost the second pack. So, unfortunate night for him. Not having the night he wanted to have. Hoping to, you know, stay up there to the towards the front and be able to uh, make a pounce there towards the end of the race there to uh, represent his team of uh, elite motorsports. As let's see here, who do we have? We got Brad Pierce, Jared Rashawn, Josh Duke, Lima Carlson, and Zach Lindgren, all a part of elite motorsports. Then uh, you got Black Card Mafia. Uh, you got Jason, Justin Summer, Nathan Smith, and Scotty Grove representing Black Card Mafia. And then Balls Out Racing. It's actually, Balls Out Racing. Why did I say it? Never mind. Uh, you got Jeremy Brown, Nathan Yarnell, Walker Thomas representing that team. You got Bradley Williams representing Gigabyte Racing. And then uh, CRT Pulse Racing. You got Lance Anthony and Mullion Rucker. All right, get back to the action here as we're coming down to 10 laps to go here next time. Bye. side by side going on from first to eight still we'll be coming hitting that 10 to go this time by 10 more laps to go here for the season opener for the crown athletics racing tour c-a-r-t here at the Kona international speedway and uh thank you all for tuning in watching this amazing broadcast here these drivers have put on one heck of a show And I uh, want to give a huge thank you to uh, Magnolia Laser for uh, jumping on board for this league here and uh, being their uh, main sponsor for the league. Uh, they couldn't put on the show without the uh, sponsor show. Big thank you to Magnolia Laser for jumping on board for these guys here, giving them a helping hand and... Uh, Looking forward to seeing what these guys put on here as the season goes on. And down. And next Wednesday, we go ahead and hit the virtual Las Vegas. So go from super speedway racing to uh, the gambling track. here who's willing to gamble next Wednesday night but also uh, you know who's willing to take the gamble here tonight and do something that uh, might win them the race or you know end their night 
And right now, it looks like we got uh, four on three. You got four on the outside, three on the inside. Zach Lindgren's leading that outside line with Brad Peters giving him very good shove there down the back straightaway as Brad's going to dive it down in front of Walker. They had to do a big check up there uh, not to uh, take out Brad, but Brad's now going to take the top spot back. And we are down to seven laps to go. like everybody's going to regroup here. It looks like the uh, 15. No, that wasn't the 15. That's the sixth machine of Nathan Smith. Looks like he was trying to back up a little bit to try to get a uh, good run, but he doesn't have any help behind him. As Zach Lingren is caught in between a lap car right now. down to now six laps to go go ahead real quick let's uh check on william rucker and company here they're still single file here uh, they're still hopeful for a caution here but the uh the time is coming very limited here for the opportunity for a caution to come out uh, Nemo carlson's about to be going a lap down here in a few laps. He's about 31 seconds behind the leader. Brad Peters. As we got a little uh, <clears throat> a little pressure coming there on the outside. Uh, as I say that, the 15 dives it back down to the inside. And now we only got two cars there on the outside. Josh Duke and the seven of James the only two drivers there on the outside it's not gonna work but Josh Duke's gonna dive it down to the inside right in front of the 24 and uh, James did the same thing uh, just dived down in front of Nathan in that sixth machine we'll go ahead and regroup here there's gonna be another charge here before the end of the race as we're coming down to four laps to go here as Brad led his 16th lap here of the evening. But Brad would, uh, I'm sure he would trade those 16 laps he led already for one lap led. And that would be the final lap. As Walker looked down to the inside uh, but was not able to do anything with it. As now everybody's diving it up to the outside, and now Jared Rashawn is up into that top spot in that 60 machine. Josh Duke in second, Zach Lingeren in third. And Brad Peters is left to regather himself and make another charge here. Good news for him, he's got three more laps to do so, which is plenty of time here at Daytona. Walker now is on the outside all by himself. I don't think that's going to work out for Walker here. Going to have to just go ahead and drop it back. And, well, as I say that, he's got a little bit of help with the 15. And now the 32 machine of Josh Duke go, jumps into the outside with Walker. And he's going to go ahead and take the point. And you're starting to see the bumpers getting used a lot more here. A lot of fish tailing going on with uh, Josh Duke, Walker Thomas all over the back bumpers. We're down to two more laps here. Two more laps to go here for the season opener for the Crown Athletics Racing Tour Cup Series over here on iRacing. Sponsored by Magnolia Laser. Thank you guys for tuning in. We got uh, seven viewers out there right now. We got two likes. So thank you guys for Hitting that like button, tuning in, and uh, you know, watching a good season opener here for their first season debuting in the Cup Series here this evening. As 
Jared Rashawn is going to have to really be doing some mirror driving here as we're down to one lap to go here. Zach Lindgren's all over the back bumper of him. We are going to finish this under regulation here tonight, folks. And it looks like I don't think they're going to be able to get a run there on the outside, but as I say that, here comes the 15. Nathan Yarnell, he's going to be able to take the point there with Walker Thomas shoving him down the back straight away. And he's going to dive back down in front of Jared. We're going to see here if Jared's going to be able to make a move here coming out of turn number four. So it's going to be Zach. Or maybe the 05 of Brad. Here comes Jared Rashawn. Oh, he got turned. He got turned. Who's going to finish first here? Is that going to be... Did it give it to Jared or Sean? We got to go back and take a look at that. Let's see here if we can do. We're going to go ahead and do a chopper cam here. And. See, Jared. Looks like he, yeah, he just got clipped a little bit, bump draft gone wrong, and then he just drove it down through the grass. And yeah. He is going to be able to uh, <laughs> finish in that top spot somehow, some way. here good slow it down to yep just barely I'll <laughs> be able to pass out uh, the 32 of Josh Duke and uh, Zach Lingren so, Jared down here burning it up here tonight, deservingly well. Don't want that camera. So, congratulations, Jared, on your fit, on your victory here this evening. We're going to go ahead and step away. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab that top three, bring them up here in the broadcast booth, give them a post-race interview. So, don't go anywhere, folks. We will be right back.
Yeah, it was, a, it was a good little race. Uh, after the packs got separated, it really came down to fuel strategy and just uh, people working together. We had a lot of uh, we had a lot of people working together. We knew that um, for a little while there, Walker and Nathan were going to work together. The uh, the eighty seven of James, he was he was hanging in there with us. It uh, so when the groups got separated, it just came down to a matter of you know getting to know those people. If it came down to it, and it did, but man, coming out of turn four. Uh, we we had a little bit of a run on Nathan there and we jumped high and or Jared jumped high and Nathan had blocked just a little bit and it slowed Jared down and I kind of caught the left left quarter of Jared and you know it I don't I don't like winning that way and like I was talking to Nathan just a little while ago you know I I hate it for him he he did everything right he did nothing wrong he pulled a block and when Jared was there he didn't try anything else and he still got the brunt end of it so I I hate that for Nathan and like I said, once I saw it, I really saw the side of Jared's car. I saw the 60 on the side of the car. So I thought Jared was done. And uh, I was still trying to collect it from that whole thing. And I saw Josh behind me and I was, I figured, well, if one of us wins it, that'd be great. I didn't want to try to stay in front of Josh and wreck us both. So I'm not going to lie. I thought Josh had it too. I, I thought Jared might've like spun down pit road. And when I saw Jared's name pop up, he won. I was like, whoa, he must've just stayed in the grass and kept in it. So, Hey. We we made a we made for a memorable first race right there at the end. Um, sure, it kind of hurts coming out on P three, but at the same time, it's a heck of a finish, hell of a run by everybody at Elite Motorsports. So honestly, I'll take a P three after that. Yeah, for sure. And you know, especially you know at a track like Daytona, where it can go either really good or really bad for you. You never know. You know, it's any given day when it comes to super speedway racing, and you know. P3, I mean, I would consider that a pretty good night uh, considering how, you know, the night went for some other drivers out here on track here tonight. Uh, but we go ahead, you know, as we go ahead and start packing our bags here and get ready to go out west to uh, Las Vegas next Wednesday night. Go ahead and, uh, you know, talk about what your expectations are, you know, transitioning from Super Speedway going to uh, intermediate track like Vegas that sort of kind of runs like a somewhat speedway uh with fresh tires <laughs> yeah it, it does uh you know i'm not gonna lie to you i love super speedways in these cars the super speedways in these cars like they they suck up really well they're all over the place they're hard to control but you know you can uh really shift momentum you can shift lines you can go all the way up to the wall and be fast you can be down on the yellow and be fast you just it you actually have to watch momentum in these cars, and I really enjoy it. But when it comes to everything else, man, these cars are uh, difficult to drive. You can't really lean on the right rear because you know, with how thin the the walls are, the tire gives out a lot quicker, and uh, the car doesn't really like that. You've really got to keep it straight. You can't really let the car get loose. So with a track like Las Vegas, it's gonna. I feel like it's going to be hot. It's going to be loose. So you're going to see a lot of tire management at Las Vegas. I feel like you're going to see a lot of um, – a lot of different lanes being ran. A lot of people like to run low, but in these cars, they like to shift. They like to move. So you might see some middle ran. You might see some top ran. So um, Las Vegas, is it's a fun track. I really enjoy Las Vegas. Um, I just don't know what to expect out of these cars just yet. I haven't ran them in about a year. The last time I ran them, I think at Las, one of the last races was Las Vegas, and I wrecked out of it in this car. So uh, <laughs> I'm not, I don't know what to expect just yet, but I know it's, I know it's going to be a fun race. Oh, yes, for sure, and we're definitely looking forward to uh, tuning in and uh, not only broadcasting it, but, uh, you know, watching it unfold live uh, right here on Extreme Racing TV next Wednesday night. But until then, Zach, before we go ahead and let you go and celebrate your P3 finish here this evening, uh, any final thoughts, shout-outs you want to give before we go ahead and let you go and celebrate with your team here tonight? Yeah, I just want to give a shout-out to uh... – to my team at elite motorsports right there at the end there was so much communication there's so much good knowledge uh, if it wasn't for that i don't think we would have been in a position to even have a shot at that win right there coming out of the pitch jared uh fell back we all teamed up we all laid back to get jared and we um drove ourselves back up to the lead pack to have that shot so uh, i can't thank my teammates at elite enough for that um uh, you up here in the booth doing what you do. We appreciate your time uh, and a, and a new league as well. I appreciate the admins. Uh, 
for putting up this league. This was really fun, and I'm looking forward to see how this league uh, this league progresses. I hope it turns out well. If anybody's watching, and if anybody does have iRacing that's not in this league yet, please uh, put in an application. Uh, this is a really fun league. This is a really a, around a lot of great drivers, a lot of fun drivers. You learn a lot from the people you're around at Super Speedways, especially, and these guys were able to hold it together. So um, really, if if you're out there watching, and you you have iRacing, and you're not in this league yet. Put in an application. This was this was really fun. But um, HMS Motorsport now, uh, diecast fans for being on the car as well. Uh, can't thank them enough. Uh, everybody back at home watching. And um, that's all I got for right now, buddy. All right, Zach. Well, go ahead and enjoy this uh, P3 finish here tonight. Uh, I'm sure you're. You're still a nervous wreck there going to the finish, uh, thinking you might have had it, and then Josh, you thought he had it, and then, <laughs> you know, just got disappointed twice because uh, Jared somehow, you know, pulled out the uh, Earnhardt secret and was able to uh, do the uh, <laughs> instead the of the grass. Path, yeah, the victory through the grass. So uh, enjoy this P3, Zach, and uh, we'll see you next uh, Wednesday night at Las Vegas. Awesome, buddy. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right. Now take care of our uh, third place finisher here this evening. Let's go ahead and grab our second place finisher here. That number 32 machine of Josh Duke. Go ahead and get him down here. Pull him up for an interview. Well, Josh, ah, man. Thought Zach had it. Thought maybe you had it. And uh, somehow Jared found a way to not only stay in it, but able to drive through the grass and be able to grab the victory here to, you know, upset, uh, take the upset, I would say. Uh, go ahead and talk about your race here uh, this evening. How was it for you here at Daytona? Yeah, so basically started out the race. I'm like, I hate these cars. Uh, I can't say I hate these cars, but... I, I'm not comfortable in these cars, so I'm like, I'm going to start from the back, you know, last to first challenge, um, and, you know, we were joking around at the beginning of the race, you're saying this now, you're going to finish second, like, now I'll, I'll, I'll get it, I'll, I'll win this thing, and, um, there was something that happened on the back stretch, and, uh, unfortunately took Aiden out, and I think Jeremy, um, a couple other people too, I, I racing didn't put out a caution for that, but, um, yeah, we, you know, got the pack back together, kept rolling. Um, these things get major runs. It's crazy. We, um, all of us in elite, we kind of, uh, we were pretty far back after the pits and came back, I think from like five seconds, but yeah, it was kind of just like running it out, kind of seeing what to do. And then, I I got shuffled to the back coming to the white and I'm like I I see two lines I was I was started out confused um not you know I didn't know which lane to pick um coming out of 3 then that wreck happened I shot low I have a huge run um I see Zach on my outside I'm like I I'm going to get him it's going to be really close but I'm going to get him and I pass and I check I'm like I'm waiting to see where I finish. It says P2, expecting to lose to, <laughs> to Zach. I see it's Jared. That's the most confused I've ever been on a finish. I had no idea where he was. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was confused up here, too, because it's like, Jared, where, where he was gone out of the picture. He was nowhere in the frame. Where? <laughs> how did he finish first? Uh, but, yeah, go ahead and went back and looked at the replay there, and, yeah, by God, he uh, just... You know, got wrecked, but somehow, some way, uh, just decided to go ahead and do some uh, mowing there down through the tri oval and uh, took the shortcut way, um, as they like to say, <laughs> to uh, grab the victory Joker there. Laps. And yeah, to what you alluded to there at the beginning there with the uh, you know incident that happened there towards the beginning of the race. Yeah, they wrecked, and somehow, uh, you know, like you said, I recently didn't throw the caution, but somehow they didn't wreck either. Uh, it was just a lot of calamity that never transformed into a wreck. Uh, so that was kind of interesting to see that unfold too. Uh, 
here at Daytona, but you know, that back straightaway, you got that all paved down there. Uh, so you got plenty of room for drivers to be able to just spit it out and save it. So be able to go caution free here. Uh, super speedway racing at Daytona is impressive enough, but, uh, have that kind of finish, man. Uh, I know it's heartbreaking for you, but you know, still, still a good points night for you here. Uh, as we go ahead and transport, get ready to transfer to the West Coast next Wednesday night, all the way to Las Vegas. Uh, go ahead and you know talk about what are you looking forward to or not looking forward to going to Vegas here next Wednesday. Um, I can't say. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I can't really say I'm looking forward to it, but you know, just gonna wing it. Maybe, maybe I'll get some luck. Um, in these cars, I, like I said earlier, I, I'm not comfortable at all in these, but they are, they can be fun. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of tend it, see what happens next week. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And Hey, look, look what happens tonight. You never know what can happen. So just send it and, uh, hope for the best. And maybe you'll find yourself, uh, you know, reclaiming, uh, victory here over jared next next wednesday night uh but until then uh josh any final thoughts shout outs you want to give before we go ahead and let you go and celebrate your or decelebrate your p2 finish however you want to describe it here this evening yeah yeah well shout out to you for um for broadcasting this you always do a great job um shout out to elite motorsports letting me run with them this um this season and uh everybody watching the the uh these races and also the admin team for putting up these races oh yeah definitely josh well go ahead and enjoy this p2 finish here this evening until uh las vegas enjoy this one and we'll see you next wednesday appreciate it yeah you're welcome all right That'll take us down to our race winner here this evening, and that would be that number 60 machine of Jared Rashawn somehow, some way managed to uh, <laughs> grab that victory here this evening. Go ahead and get on him real quick, and let's pull him up into the broadcast booth here. Well, Jared, uh, you... Really were the shock of the night, literally. Uh, you came out of nowhere uh, to go ahead and grab the victory here this evening. We thought you were down in pit road uh, doing barrel rolls, etc. But uh, you were just out there cutting some grass there on the front straightaway. Go ahead and talk about your race here this evening here at Daytona. Yeah, there at the end, it looked like the maintenance crew missed some uh, some grass down there. So I just decided to hook it left and, uh, you know, go get it for them. You know, I was trying to help out. Oh, uh, being a team we, player. Uh, there you go. Yeah, we had an interesting race, I guess. Uh, I was looking at the infield on lap 11, and we saved that, and then I ended up in the infield to win the race. But uh, I was definitely thanks to everybody at Lake Motorsports because uh, I couldn't see my pit box on our pit stop, and then I lost the draft, and they come back and got me, and we, we ran them back down, and it was just great teamwork by all of us all race to keep at least get one of us in victory lane, and uh, it just happened to be me, I guess. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, a track like this, you know, uh, when it comes to super speedway racing, having friends, teammates, uh, definitely makes a big difference. And in your case, paid off here for you tonight um, with the little assistance of the maintenance crew, missing a few spots on the front straightaway yard. Uh, so, I mean, all in all, congratulations all goes to you, man. You literally pulled a rabbit out of a hat here tonight. Uh, did not see that coming, was, n was not on my bingo card, so I'm going to have to add that to the bingo list here for the next time we're at Daytona. Uh, but looking forward here, uh, Jared, to next Wednesday night, Las Vegas. Uh, even though it's not super speedway racing, you know, when you got fresh tires on these uh, next-gen cars, it can act like it's similar to a uh, super speedway race. When it comes to you know getting those runs down the back straightaway and etc. So go ahead and talk about you know what do you look forward to going to uh, the West Coast next Wednesday night 
gambling style at Vegas? I don't really know what to expect. I've won a race there in these cars, but that that was like when they first come out, so I don't really know what the new uh, phase one of the oval stuff they did. I don't know if that's changed anything or or what we'll have, but I've been two for two in the 60 when I went to the 60, so we'll be looking to maybe keep it three. I don't I don't think that'll continue, but we'll, we'll go out there and give it a shot. Well, that's all you can do is go out there and give it a shot. You never know where your cards may lie. And, hey, you might have to do another yard job to go ahead and grab that victory. You never know. So you got practice of that, and uh, it looks like you mastered it pretty well, Jared. But before we go ahead and let you go here and uh, celebrate your victory and finish pulling out the grass or whatever you got stuck on the uh, radiator there, any final thoughts, shout-outs you want to give before we go ahead and let you go? Oh, yeah, I just want to thank everybody at Elite Motorsport because that was a, a great team effort tonight by uh, by every single one of them. It was unfortunate. We lost uh, Aiden in the lap 11 thing, but uh, he definitely would have been up there with us had he, had he survived that. But, uh, yeah, special thanks to Diecast fans for, for being on the car, getting him another victory. Uh, Walker, Lance, and William for putting this league on and giving us a cup league to come out and run in. And thank you for coming on and broadcasting it. Most definitely. Well, Jared, uh, congrats once again, man. I don't know how you did it, uh, but somehow, some way, you did it. And that's going to be etched in my memory uh, for a very long time. So definitely enjoy this victory here. Very well deserved to you. Until next Wednesday, uh, enjoy this one. We'll see you at Vegas. Thank you. All right, everybody. Well, that will complete the interviews here this evening. Awesome job by everybody out here. What a finish. Man, I'm still, I still can't get over that. <laughs> uh, we will... Go ahead and get down to... The final results here this evening, if I get the driver info out of there. Oh, Jared Rashawn grabbing the victory here once again, Jared. Uh, awesome job somehow, some way, being able to pull that off. Uh, Josh Duke finishing second in that 32. Uh, the 85, Zach Lundgren finishing third. Walker Thomas in the 12 machine finishing fourth. Finishing fifth, the 05 of Brad D. Peters. William Rucker finishing 6th in the 77 machine. Nathan Yarnell in the 15 finishing 7th. Finishing 8th here this evening in 94 of Justin Summer. Finishing 9th, uh, the 55 of Scotty Grove. And rounding out the top 10, James Lingreven in the 87 machine. Back in 11th, the 6th machine of Nathan Smith. And 12th, we got the 01 of Lima Carlson. And 13th, Tyler SL in the 9 machine. Finishing 14th, Lance Anthony in the 52. Bradley Williams in the 116, finishing 15th. Andy Frazier in the 24, finishing 16th. Finishing 17th, Brad Brian L. Jones in the 45 machine. Uh, finishing 18th, the 39 of Aiden Kirker. And then routing out, finishing 19th here this evening, Jeremy B. Brown in the 88 machine. Well, folks, it's been a pleasure to put on this uh, broadcast for everybody to tune in and watch here. The season one of the Crown Athletics Racing Tour, um, like uh, Zach was alluding to, uh, if anybody's out there looking for a league to uh, join on a Wednesday night, reach out uh, to the admin team here, uh, Lance uh, Walker and somebody else is an admin as well. Uh, or just look up the uh, Crown Racing Athletics uh, Crown Athletics Racing Tour on iRacing. Uh, shoot them a message. They'll be able to give you all the information that you need. <clears throat> get you set up. But until next time, folks, uh, we are off for the rest of the week. We'll be back live uh, next Tuesday night for the Iceman Sim Racing League. As they go ahead and take on Watkins Glen for the 11th race of their fifth season. Uh, but until then, folks, it's uh, been a pleasure putting on back-to-back -back broadcasts for you all. 
take care of yourselves and each other and have a good night.